Okay, so pretty much 2018 STI, full bolt on, on E85, FP black. Uh, pretty much on my dyno video, I've included in the description my full mod list. So pretty much I won't be going over that. I'm just going to pretty much talk about my knowledge on what I know as far as IAG blocks versus like the 19 STI block. So my 18 blew up, as you can see, at 25,000 miles. It just touched boost one time at 24 PSI when I was tuning my external wastegate. I had a feedback negative 30, smoke everywhere. Um, a lot of people always ask, oh, I wonder if my car's blown up. So the way I was able to determine that was I, on my access port, I monitored on idle, turned the car on um, just for a little bit. I idled and I ran the roughness cylinder one, two, three, and four. And my fourth cylinder kept getting readings. Um, it's not supposed to get a lot of readings at an idle. I checked my uh, oil cap while it was on. It was puffing smoke. I had smoke coming out of the tailpipes. Now, the interesting thing was my dam didn't drop. So a lot of people will tell you, oh, if your dam drops and you get feedback knock, that could be an indication. Well. On mine, I'm running E85 from the same exact fuel station, so I don't ever have any issues with dam. My dam did not drop, but I did get feedback knocks. So when they say your dam drops, it's because if you get a bad batch of fuel and you do get knocked because of that octane or whatever that bad fuel is, that will cause you to get feedback knock and potentially get ringling. So there is truth in that, but that's not something that is always going to happen if you're constantly using the same fuel from the same um, gas station you can still have ringling your dam won't drop because your octane and your fuel is still doing good so you're not getting any um, any feedback knock from that but anyways so from what i know is the 19 sti and 2020s have a uh, forged internals so what that is is just the pistons are stronger than the oem cast ones uh, better rods i'm seeing online that people are saying that they're pushing five six hundred horsepower on a stock block which yes it probably could handle it but the major question is how long i mean anything could push power you can do it on a 2018 stock block push 500 wheel horsepower yeah but that doesn't mean it's going to last years and years you know um that is one of the tricky things about it now I know some people are nervous to push power because they don't want to blow it up and especially the cost of rebuilding and all that could be very expensive so on this block alone this car i've already spent probably 28 to 30 grand and that's because i bought everything brand new i went to the well best shops that are you know available to install and swap out blocks and i paid for all the extras and you know stuff like two fuel uh two hardwire kits for my fuel pumps nobody needs two i'm doing it because i want to make sure that each individual pump has 12 volt source hob switch a lot of people don't run that i'm running du radium's dual fuel pumps um so they're dual 450 wall rows that's just keeping my secondary fuel pump off until i hit 15 psi and then it engages the second pump because you don't want two pumps running at all times you don't want uh, your dual pumps running 100 percent so what I would say is the 19 block can definitely handle more than the 18. And a lot of people on the 18 block are pushing 400 wheel, something like that. 375, I mean, stock block, obviously stock turbo. Stock turbo cannot flow into the 400s at all. Despite what people say, I know that for a fact because I've dyno tested on a Mustang dyno and that stock turbo will never be able to flow 400 horsepower and you can tell because when you're doing a top end pull and you notice your car starts to lag down and it's not still pushing that's because the turbo is not an, it's not forcing enough air through the block so you have to have an aftermarket turbo kit to hit 400 um so the ieg block i have i'm only pushing 500 which i'm pretty sure i can push more because if a oem 19 sti block can handle 500 horsepower then obviously mine definitely can handle it um, so I am going to be turning the boost up just a little bit uh, I'm going to probably push my boost from 27 where it's at now to about 32 psi and we'll see how that goes um, I have like I said seen the 19s 
pushing 500 something horsepower and they're talking about going, you know, six, seven months with it. I would agree that they can handle the power and you would have to have a super solid tuner though. You don't want to have a tuner that is barely starting or is just getting to know the Subaru world because you do that, that's gonna be a very bad day on your block. So the stock Subarus, if you do go with like a tuner, I recommend going with people like JR Tune. I've never had a tune by him, but I hear he's really good. He does a lot of tuning with Bader Built and Bader's all over YouTube. Um, he does a lot of big builds and stuff. I've actually reached out to Bader a few times, talked to him um, through comments and stuff, and he does recommend JR. So I know he's a very good tuner just because of what I've seen. So someone like that tuning a 19, I think it would hold power just fine because you know they don't go super aggressive on the on the dyno or i'm sorry on the ignition timing some tuners love to go aggressive on the timing and that is where you have issues i mean you can run a whole bunch of timing and lower boost pressure and blow your car up you can also push a whole, whole ton of boost pressure and run lower timing and still make a lot of power um a lot of times People get confused with the conception that I have to run 30 PSI to make 500 wheel horsepower or whatever. That's not the case. You can actually make 500 with less boost pressure. Obviously, you're going to need more timing or vice versa. You have less timing but more boost pressure. So these guys know what they're doing. They, they know how to tune, so that's what they do. I don't know any of that, so I'm not going to say that I know or I'm an expert in that because I'm only going based off of what I have learned over the years and that's pretty much it so yeah that's pretty much my 18 sti it's super dirty right now but um i just wanted to talk a little bit about that so if you have a 19 sti block don't be afraid to push more power it'll handle it just have a super reliable tune and don't forget to do your cylinder 4 cooling mod aos or catch can which on mine i'm running dual catch cans that i set up myself but it works just fine. I have no issues. I catch everything in the crankcase and that's all that you want to do is make sure that none of that gets back into the intake and burns through the block. Because obviously blow by will lower your octane and that will cause knock. So pretty much that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.